Greetings and welcome back everyone to the Blood Moon Cavern in Stellaris. I am back! I have a fresh coffee. I didn't have anything to drink in the last episode, which is why you may have noticed that I, I sounded like I was flagging a little bit. I was! I was tired and I was thirsty. Ah, uh, bad combination. Now, in this episode, we are going to be watching as this fleet tries to back out of a potentially terribly dangerous situation. Now, I've had a think about what I uh, was discussing in the last episode about the idea of having named fleets. I liked what I did previously when I split up uh, a group into very, very small groups, just uh, two or three ships each, and they were called wings rather than, than fleets, or rather, in, in our case, swarms. The named swarms are larger groups which, you know, will, will take on harder battles, space stations, planetary bombardment, maybe even interfleet battles, large scale sort of things. And I'm going to keep that to the, the amount of admirals I have, because I always want someone who's giving the fleet when you've got a collection of that many ships, a bonus, because when you've got a lot of ships involved, then that bonus is much more valuable uh, because you're getting a net much larger result from it. Whereas applying it to three ships over 30, eh, you're not getting as much out of it. Yes, each ship is having the same bonus, but there's less ships involved. So uh, we're going to keep with wings for the, the, the sort of smaller collections of ships in the future. Now, how is the Prime Swarm doing? How long until you're finished upgrading? Uh, oh, ships fantastic. I'm very pleased to see that. Very pleased. We've got enough here to build perhaps another... Yeah, very soon. We're going to get another corvette, uh, another destroyer, rather. Let's wait for that to take over. Come on, you. Let's go to fast speed. Ooh. Mass extinction. Barren. Life on this now barren planet was, sadly, doomed from the start. As if by some cruel stellar conspiracy, the dominant species on the planet barely had time to awaken to sapience and invent agriculture before, through unfortunate geological mechanisms, the Earth started turning sour. Samples from loyal soul strata and the fossilized remains of the creatures that once roamed the planet show that several vital minerals needed to rejuvenate the soil ended up through their largely agricultural uh, agricultural diet in the endoskeletons of the native beings. Their bones were prone to fo fossilize rather than decay, and their very existence exhausted the fragile ecosystem they inhabited, leaving it permanently transformed in the wake of their passing. Oh, wow. That is a tough break. Right, well, Azathoth, we need a new job for you. You've already done that one. Uh, sure. You can go ahead and jump over there. Jump into this system for me, please. And while all that's going on, you can you can end up helping out the 3D Scorpions. But the Prime Swarm, we need more. We need more ships. Lots more ships. Right, we've got the first fleet here. You're joining the Prime Swarm. There we go. And we'll get more ships in there as well. Right, we've got one destroyer, two, six corvettes. That's actually fairly nice, all things said and done. We've got four Sebastians, um, a Fae. Uh, we need more point defense. We need a lot more point defense, actually. Though that being said, we've already got more destroyers than we wanted for the balance that I discussed. So we're going to wait for the month to tick over. And we are going to build a new destroyer. This time it will be... Uh, a Luke. We'll get a Luke there. Then we'll start building a couple of point defense corvettes. Now, Carrion Swarm, where are you headed right now? Please get out. Bump. Phew. That was dangerous. That was very dangerous. Now you can leave here as well. Okay, mass extinction event, broken planet. Our astronomers are confident that the asteroid belt in the system was once inhabited, or rather, was once a habitable planet, torn asunder by unknown forces. A special project has been issued to study one of the major asteroids in the belt. Okay, what have we got then? Ooh. Let's have a look at you, shall we? Research project, please. Okay, well, given that then, the Azathoth can simply go there and do a survey whilst the 3D Scorpions is checking things out. Now, the Carrion Swarm, where am I sending you? I'm sending you all the way over here. 
It has got not that much in here right now. Ooh. Hello. I'd like to kill you. I'd really like to kill you. Go ahead, break this thing, and then we'll get you out of there. I need to keep a fleet in their system so that it's distracting the enemy. And we can see, thanks to you being right there, you've got a military station and a wormhole. So if I jump in, you're going to suck. Okay, that's a powerful military station. Damn it. I might need to send both the Prime Swarm and the Carrion Swarm in there. I strongly suspect that their combined forces would be sufficient to take that out. Uh, we've got a Fey here. Do I have enough to start the construction of another? No, I do not. Well, that's fine then. Let's just get you over to the Prime Swarm. I will have both of them jump into that system and take that out if I can. Since they're right next to it anyway. But after that, I think I'm going to ha have either the Carrion Swarm or the Prime Swarm jump back down here. And we're going to try and take that out. Now, let's uh, just give everyone a few moments. Hopefully you're not being chased down. Oh, it looks like you might be. Looks like they may be with you soon. That's fine. You'll have more than enough time to wipe this out. Oh, no. Leader is dead. Esperologist at the age of 85. Well, you lived a long old while, Esperologist, to be fair. Uh, our species is not particularly long-lived. Now, anomaly research speed. Uh, military theory. I might like that one. Yeah, let's go with military theory. Right, this... Uh, this scientist shall be known as Buttercup. What a truly terrifying name. Worthy of a member of our species. <laughs> Right, big old fleet on its way. We need to melt this quickly, or we need to be prepared to jump. Situation. Thankfully, we're right at the border of the system, so we can just leave. Uh, sure, we want to find out what's over there, because that's one of our destinations at the end of the day. Right, third fleet is in position. Let's get you two into the same. There we go. Vakis, we are going to need... A drink and scan. Now let's actually have oh, asteroids in this. It is in actuality a chunk of what was once a habitable and probably inhabited planet. Regular but overlapping fracture patterns indicate that the planetary demolition was intentional and controlled, if somewhat rushed. All signs point to this planet being the homeworld of whatever species destroyed it. We may never know what drove them to consider planetary annihilation to be the lesser evil. And perhaps we should be grateful for that. That is fantastic. I approve. I approve of the implications. Right. Uh, let's go ahead and just... You help out with surveying the planet, please. Since we do not know what's going to be in that other system yet. But we have... Yeah, you're easily going to get out of here. Well, I hope. 50. Oh, 75, 80, 90. Get out. Oh, ay, 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 ay. That was a little bit closer than I would like to like to confess. Right, the Prime Swarm is now the stronger fleet, though it has only two destroyers, a Luke and a Siri. The Carrion Swarm has two destroyers, a Luke, uh, Jalen style. Okay. We could... Yeah, we'll we'll just build up an, the, the one more Corvette, then we're going to move the Prime Swarm out. Hopefully the Prime Swarm could get over there. Mass Extinction, Burned Planet. One of the planets orbiting this star bears the still open wounds of some past calamity. Its surface is a roiling sea of half-melted minerals boiling into a superheated atmosphere. Oh, how romantically worded. But dapper astronomers claim that it may once have spotted life. A special project has been issued to study the molten planet beneath its endless burning sky. Right, okay. We've got a couple of things that we can go and break. I approve! Get in there and break them. Let's see, how long have we got on this being ready? Let's just double check. Uh, not too long. Let's go and have a watch of you. Make sure nothing terrible, terribly bad is happening. Uh, okay, you've just engaged this one as well. Okay, that's fine. I was a little bit concerned there when it was telling me that you'd engage two hostile fleets, but that's fine. All right, construction is complete. Hostile fleet present. Ah! Okay, that is not good. They've come in at a terrible angle for us. I I am very concerned. 
Right, Prime Swarm, I need you out there drawing attention. Now, the nice thing about this is if you've got two fleets, I imagine what would happen is, for example, let's say the Prime Swarm was already here attacking this, and the Carrion Swarm jumped out. It jumps back to one of our systems to use our warp point and then to jump back. When it does that, for all intents and purposes, the enemy fleet stops caring about it, suddenly aware of another threat it needs to go deal with, so start making preparations to jump down there. What didn't happen just now was that. What happened was there was only one fleet that was at any threat. It jumped out. Their fleet was just like, ah, oh, well, let's make our way to the edge of a system. And then we jumped back in moments later, and they were immediately like, oh, right, we need to be over there. So they responded very, very quickly to us. Hopefully, this is going to uh, throw them uh, out a little bit. But this is going to be a bit of a pain. We have to retreat. I'm just hoping that we can do a little bit more damage before we do. No, just get out. Get out now. Whew. How are you doing? Ooh, you're taking a little bit of damage. You're taking a lot of damage, actually, much more than I would like. All right, for now, you cannot do that. We need you to do little bits of damage here and there instead. There's a lot of stuff over there. Um, actually, Carrion Swarm, go back and heal up. Actually, go back and upgrade. Yes, go back and upgrade. That would be very useful. Go ahead. All right, we're going to jump out of there for now. That's fine. I'll have them jump back to uh, this planet in a moment and see if we can't just have a peek. Where's the Prime Swarm? The Prime Swarm is on its way. This is a dangerous period of time for us because we have no presence in their space. And that scares me. Right, if the Prime Swarm could get down to Tigira. What have we got in Tigira? We've got a construction ship. Go destroy it. Then... Uh, actually, no, just destroy this first because then it'll immediately let me know that you're ready. Now, we are currently upgrading. It's going to take a little while, but they'll also heal while they're doing it, which is great. How many cruisers do we have in this? Is there any obvious way? Right, we've got six. Uh, sorry, not cruisers. I keep getting Corvettes and cruisers mixed up. We have six Corvettes to the two destroyers. We have... Very few, very, very few um, point defense. You know what? No, we're going to start building that at mid now. Get one there and get one here as well. That way they may actually be ready to join that fleet before it's finished upgrading, which would be great for us, actually. Right, get in there, destroy this before it can get out. Oh, scoundrels. Okay. Just destroy what you can, but don't get too close to that main fleet if you can avoid it. Uh, okay, we need to get out. Are they the faster? I suspect they actually might be, which frightens me. Right, we're just going to move out. We'll just annoy them and, and get out of there. All right. Where do we want you to be? Uh, you know what? Head over to Ferris again. Just poke your head in. We've got two ships ready. They have healed. I Yeah, we've got enough time to get these two fleets over to the Carrion Swarm ahead of us getting involved in any sort of fights. Let's get both of you into Kosk, please. Go to Kosk. Go to Kosk. We're going to try and sneakily do the last bit of research that we need to do. If we're very lucky, we can do that. Now, I need to go and watch the Prime Swarm, make sure it gets out. How are you doing? You might actually not make it. Oh, that's terrifying me. Get out, get out, get out. No! Got four, three, two, one, go. Now, be gone. Ugh. Did we lose anyone? No. We didn't, actually. Um. Oh, no, they, they did 22 da 21 damage to health, 1 damage to armor. That was frustrating. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Right. Prime Swarm, I need you on the move again. In this case, let's jump up to... Let's move fairly far away. We'll jump through a couple of systems. Wow, really? We jump... Why? How can we jump out from here? Are we using their warp gate? Are we really? Huh, we might be. Alright. 
I'm okay with that, but that, that seems odd. I wasn't aware that that was the way it works. Not too happy with it, honestly. Oh, drat. They can't because that's still there. Okay. Well, we need all of you joined together, please. So you go ahead and join in there. Same with Second Fleet. There we go. We are now up to a total of eight corvettes, two destroyers, and we're very nearly finished with our upgrade. And then we can jump out. And we should be done about now. Excellent. Right, time for you guys to be on the move again. Let's get back. Um, you know what? Sure, head down there. Now we should be warping out at this point. In a moment, we'll just disappear. Yeah, they won't get to us in time, which is fine. And pop. Now, Prime Swarm, what are we faced with over here? Ah, right, we just jumped out of their territory. Okay. That's fine for now, I suppose. Then we'll jump in, start harassing them again. Unfortunately, the, the fact that we've got two larger fleets instead of like five or six different uh, units, it is making it a little bit more complicated for us. All right, Prime Swarm is at its destination. What have we got? Oh, really? Just one outpost? Oh, okay. Well, you go break that. Draw their fleet away if you can. Evading hostile fleet. What have we got? Oh. Wow. Uh, it actually looks like they are following us. Interesting. They weren't there to play. Where did they just go? I have no idea where they've just gone, but it scares me that they were using our warp gate. That actually scares me an awful lot. Right, get down there, please, and take them out if you can. Hostile fleet engaged. That's right. There's a couple of ships down here now. Why have we got... What? Oh, dear. You shouldn't be here. You really shouldn't be here. You need to be back there. Oh, my lord. Why did you come this way? Go ahead. Enter orbit. Right, let's see what we can do. Got a couple of fleets around now, and I need to make sure that uh, the large fleet of the enemy isn't among them. There we go, doing some uh, appreciable damage here. There we are, this one's going to be gone fairly quickly. And we are engaging their station, and also I'm hoping their construction ships. Prime Swarm's done with its job. We've got a warp in happening over there. Pull back for now. I have no idea, but I don't want to be anywhere near that when it when it happens. So let's just get over on this side of the of the system, reasonably close, because it'll always go for the, the outer ring. So if you just get fairly close to where you want to be, it's reasonable to assume that it will prioritize going there than somewhere else. Now. What I wouldn't mind is if you could jump down there and wipe out the last couple of things so that I can get my ships in there. Alright, how's everything going down now? Wow, you've already finished the job? Well done, how much damage? Mostly shields. I suspect the only hull damage we've got was maybe one or two torpedoes managed to hit the Siri. Okay, uh, the Ranocean. Alright, how many armies have they got? They got a couple. You get to work. I want my transports here right now. Enter orbit, please. As long as they don't get their support fleet here, we should be all right. And no, I'm not going to change my policies to just carpet bomb an area. I don't, I don't want to kill the uh, useless slaves. It wouldn't help us. Though you being here isn't going to help us either. All right. Well, transport ship is on its way. Let's just have you warp in here, shall we? I'm going to have Carrion Swarm leave via the swiftest route. Sure, we'll go and start smacking some more of their infrastructure over there. Hopefully, we can take a direct path out. Uh, you're going to get a little bit closer to them, but uh, it's okay. No, they're bailing. Really? Okay. Well, I'm going to come back. What are you up to? 
Are we going to dance? Is this what we're going to do? You can't decide? Well, I'm alright with doing this. Um, I wonder if they're going to be like, No, okay, you're attacking our planet. We'll come back. Are they just uncertain? I got a funny feeling this is a bug. I don't know. Let me just observe it a little bit more. Are you actually going to attack us or you... No, th that behavior must be a bug. And I refuse... I refuse... I refuse to win this by abusing bugs. I don't care if that is, like, my only chance. Then then I'll just have to find another way. But I just flat out refuse. Uh, wow, you're already engaging? From that distance? He gets. That's awesome. Are you leaving yet? Please leave. Thank you. I would like you to... You know what? You can go to Ferris. I can send my transports. You know, transport should be uh, there. I don't know where you were going just then, but didn't like it too much. Move over there. It's a little bit further away. Uh, that is our warp point, though. Are you going to get out? Yes, you are. Okay, they are properly starting to warp. I, that is a bug that I hope will get fixed soon, because it is it is affecting my enjoyment a bit. Uh, quite a lot, actually. I'll, I'll be honest. I don't, I don't like that at all. Right, well, everything is dead here, so we can afford to move on. There's nothing left there. I need a, a position which will give me a bit of more information. Have I seen anything over here? We've seen that there is a planet that someone is living in. We've not even been there, though. Um. Alright. Try and jump there. We'll find out what we can do. Now, hopefully, we're going to find that the carrion swarm meets very little resistance over here. You know what? Destroy this if we can. No, it's leaving. Fine. In that case, go and... Well, they left as well. Oh, no, they've landed. Okay. Well, just wipe out this station then. We're at 4% war score. Not too bad, all things told. And we are currently warping out. There we go. Right, what have we got? We have got very little. Just get in there. Start smacking some of the things. They've got a... Findaband outpost. Oh, right, I see. Yes, it's the... Uh, Observation outpost. Right, well. How many have you got on this planet? Oof. You've got a whole... A whole lot of people there, actually. Don't tell me they all had stars there. I swear for a moment I saw like a million uh, military generals there. That scared me. My goodness. Don't do that to me. It is a warp gate. Damn it. We're going to have to destroy that. But I'm going to be a bit concerned about trying. Alright, how's the Prime Swarm doing? Is it being harassed? Ooh, what have we got? Uh, I wish it was a, like a counter offer. Alright, you know what? I'm going to accept that one. And that has reminded me that I've got a couple of other things I need to do. Namely, I want to contact uh let's try yeah let's try with you again shall we will you trade with us and do you have the minerals to trade with us uh you might do let's see let's go for energy credits i'm gonna give you a decent deal this time in hopes that it actually results in us getting something so let's give you an acceptance of two. We'll give that away, and we'll give it a try. Did we get it? Yes, we did. Fantastic. We got a lot of money. That means we can afford to build a couple of things. Right, I want a Siri, a Luke, and... Well, actually, no, that's, that's a little bit too much. We'll take two, so I need ten destroyers at this point. Midna, let's start work on four point defenses. Greater Isaric, I would like you to work on a mixture of these. I would need a little bit more, so we just need um, another Faye, another Sebastian for that group. 
And that will actually be quite nice. Right, well, there's uh, no one here. How about we try our best and destroy that, shall we? We could just sit around here and, this, and bombard, but that's 4,000. We've got 4,000... Um, what on earth are you doing here? How dare you? How dare you, Scallywag? But they've got 4,000 fortifications. It's not something we're going to be able to punch through. Right, we need to be over here. And 3D Scorpions. Um, You know what? Be cheeky. Just go ahead. But yeah, I really need to wipe that out. I can't allow them to just move through space and do what they like. Oh dear. Where? Oh. Alright. Well... That's a bit unfortunate, but there's not a lot I'm going to do about it. Situation How are we doing there? Good. We'll go and wipe this one out next. They're going to show up soon. But as long as I can keep them from uh, harassing the carrion swarm while we take out this warp point, I'm going to be very happy with that. Right. First fleet. Second fleet. They're going to be the, the corvettes. Nothing else would have been built that fast. Right, let's watch the carrion swarm. Please wipe this out before anything warps in. And... Pop. Perfect. You know what? Ferris Prime is not my main target. I need to take this place. That one has to be taken. You're going to get out, aren't you? Yeah, you scoundrel, you. I need some sort of base that'll pull things in. It doesn't need to be a particularly strong one, but it needs to... You are actually... You are actually building something, you cheeky little monkey. Get over there, please, fleet. Actually, first fleet is our point defense. Doesn't matter. You go here. But that is so cheeky. I mean, I, I find it kind of glorious in a way, but wow. Alright, let's keep popping. And the Azathoth has arrived. Go ahead and research, please. Hostile fleet engaged. And we have engaged this outpost. I love how they engage so far away. It's pro yeah, it must be because of Ciri's missile attacks. Because they've got such a good range. Alright, Carrion Swarm has arrived. And can now move into position and start orbital bombardment. This time we are actually going to get the transports in. One way or another, we're going to be taking this planet. In this episode. Right, let's go check on the Prime Swarm. How are you doing? You've got a warp happening. Don't like that. Uh, move over here, then. Let's get away from that warp signature. I don't don't care for it. Really don't care for it. Uh, we've got a wormhole over here. What else have you got, though? You don't have a station that'll... Uh, pull us in. So, sure. Let's bounce back and wipe out that wormhole generator if we can do that. Where's the carrion swarm? Moving in. Oh, second fleet. There we go. Didn't manage to kill it. Go for this then. Where are we? Why are you even there? I don't understand it. You were sent to attack it. What? I am confused. Alright. Well, let's move you into this group and send you to destroy the builder. Mass Extinction Molten. The unfortunate fate of this planet can be laid squarely at the feet of cosmic whims. Some gravitational disturbance. After eyeing the system's sun with some suspicion, our scientists named a transient space-time anomaly as the likely culprit. Forced the planet from its natural orbit to one much closer to the sun. Although the planet is slowly spiraling out towards its original orbit, it has been cooking in the residual heat from the star ever since. Mass extinction study complete. While the research expedition often yielded unexpected results, DAPA scientists have now, uh, now have access to an unprecedented wealth of data with which to accurately model the future of Avakis Prime. Initial reports suggest that Avakis Prime 
will be in no real danger for at least a dozen generations, save from freak cosmic events or the violent collapse of the Blood Moon Coven. Never gonna happen. What else can we learn from these planets? Ends the mass extinction through the ages event chain. The Dark Belling people should be put at ease. Ends the mass extinction through the ages event chain and make the planetary data public. Hmm. Yeah, I would like to find out what else we can do. While the data regarding the star systems as a whole was somewhat spotty, the detailed studies of the individual planets has allowed the Blood Moon Coven to extrapolate complete survey data of the systems in question. Oh, that wasn't particularly useful, I'll be honest with you, I'm not too impressed. Okay, what have we just engaged? We are engaging the wormhole generator, fantastic. We've got a bunch of new things made, lots of new fleets, all of the fleets, all of the time. Right, let's get you over there as well, and you. First fleet is already there. Let's merge the first fleet uh, and the second fleet. Never you mind. Okay, you go and just, I guess, sit there. Uh, third fleet, first fleet. Well, actually, no, we'll, we'll pop the... Uh, yeah, we'll pop these into the, the, the first fleet. <laughs> Just because of the name. All right, you go and uh, be in orbit there, please. Right, Carrion Swarm, how's it going down there? How's the orbital bombardment uh, treating you? Treating you well, I hope. They've only got three armies. We have got a lot and a tactician. Eh. Uh, I'm wondering if I should just send you in. Right. You know what? Make a beeline for the wormhole generator, destroying whatever you have to on the way, please. I think we're just going to land land armies. We may have enough of force that we can just take this planet anyway. And if that happens, it'll be great. Let's see how this is going. Yeah, they, they're very quickly being pulled down. All right, we're invading a planet. This is fantastic news. We're already at 8% of the war score. We've blockaded a blockade of cream. We're getting one point from that. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, the space battle at Nate Paulus Majoris. What? Was that actually one of them, then? It must have been. It must have just been a constructor in that case. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Go ahead and uh, research that, then. Have we got anything else that we can go and research while we're being cheeky? Uh, actually, you should research this. 3D Scorpions, what are you up to? Not enough to worry about. Let's get you down here then. And have a gander. Go have a head and have a research there. We're doing okay here. The second fleet. And I would like... No? That's annoying. I want these fleets to all join together. It would be lovely if I could just do that easily, but apparently no. There we go. Transfer all. Transfer all. The first fleet now has quite a lot of ships, actually. Wow. We're almost at a point where I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to send that off and have it join the primary swarm. Again, we do not have an admiral, so... Uh, where's the second fleet and what is it doing? Uh, actually, let's have the first fleet come and help you with that. Because it's going to take you a million years to get rid of it otherwise. Why? Why that was happening? I have no idea, but whatever. Uh, I would like to... What is going on there? It's not letting me have a look, which is kind of annoying. Let's go down. Have a gander. We're doing alright. I'm going to speed up time a little bit. Or, or a lot, actually. Up to the highest level. Situation log updated. Right. What just happened... Prime Swarm, what's going down? You're moving out. Good. Take out that wormhole, please. And... Pop. Perfect. Right, well, since you're here, you may as well go and wipe out the rest of this stuff as well. Uh, second Fleet, how's this going? Good. Let's get you all joined together. Launch all of the weapons. And melted. 
Perfect. What a great way to wrap up this episode. I think we have taken over an enemy plan. Also, we did a little bit more research, which is always quite nice. But we want you to go and find... Ooh, Feral Sovereignty, that's a transport fleet. Never mind, it's not, not a big threat. We want you to go and join with the Prime Swarm. Prime Swarm needs, needs some company. Right, well, we've taken this planet. I'm going to keep my army down there for the time being. Let's actually have a look at this army. You've currently got uh, new concrete fortifications. So you're a lot more uh, difficult to uproot as a result, and I am pretty happy with that. We are currently at 14%. Or, uh, well, yeah, 14%. War score is 14, occupation 5, space battles 8 their acceptance is minus three. We could white peace with them soonish if we want to. I'm not sure we do. I, whilst this is slowing us in some ways, in other ways we're actually not doing too badly. I think it may be time for us to try. Hmm. Well, I was going to say we could go to Ferris, and I think that may be an idea. We could occupy Ferris. That would probably give us a, a staggering amount of points. But I'm not sure that's necessarily the best thing to do. I would prefer to continue to wreck their economy if I can. But while all that's going on, it's time for us, I think, to start looking at building some more fortifications. Um, that is actual some uh, fortified bases. And also to check out the planets themselves and just to build some facilities. But that will have to happen in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one. The war is not going badly. It could still change its mind. And uh, let's hope that it doesn't. But at the moment, the war is not necessarily going badly. But that is going to be it from me. So feedback in the comments below and a like on the video if you'd like to see more. But until next time, do take care, everyone.